Hello and welcome. Now we're going to start coding this um, e-commerce app. So first thing you want to do is uh, set up a project, right? So set up backend, set up frontend, and we will start with frontend because it's uh, it's easy and it's a bit more exciting because you can see something happening in the browser, right? So let's uh, go. Let's uh, decide where you want to create this uh, project. I'm going to put it inside this Udemy folder. So let's create a new folder. Let's call it e-commerce. Okay. And let's drag this to the text editor and I'm using um, VS code. And these days many people are using VS code. So um, we should all be good. But if you're using some other text editor, it should be all right. Okay. So we have this uh, project folder here. We're going to create uh, two folders one for back end one for front end all right so let's begin with front end and you can open the terminal in build terminal here terminal a new terminal or you can even use the shortcut control and this the tilt character which is on the top left side of your keyboard just below the escape tab right all right so let's use create react app to create the front end so npx let me just make it slightly bigger npx create react app and let's give it a name client okay i'm sure you have node install as well as a create react app installed globally if you don't have you need to um, install it globally okay that information can be found in the react um, js.org as well if you have any difficulty feel free to um, post your question in the q a section but i'm pretty sure if you have worked with uh, react before i'm sure you know how to install a fresh new project uh, this way using create react app right so then it is done now you can either use yarn or npm i'll just continue using npm so let's get inside the project folder cd client all right and then let's run npm start that will start our react app you can see we have this folder created a freshly installed react app let's uh, have a look at this in the browser All right, so I have this issue. Let me try this instead of localhost. Hmm. Okay, so this is really weird. <laughs> I don't have anything here. Probably because it react create react app. It just changes uh, things sometimes, and maybe it's just my computer. It's happening. So let me try this. Let me go to uh, package.json and here the start script, I'm going to give it a host name as well. Host equals to localhost react script start. Okay, so this way you can define the host as well. Let's see, let's give this a try. Okay, npm start. okay now it looks like this time it worked so this is probably just an issue with my own um this computer but uh, either way if you had similar issues you know how to fix it now all right so that's great we have this beautiful a uh, default um, view of the freshly installed react app now let's go ahead and make some changes okay i'm going to hide the terminal you can show and hide using the the same command Oh, sorry not this one let me delete this one terminal mm, looks like i don't have the shortcut here i can use control and the tilt character just like before using the shortcut all right so once that's done let me open up the sidebar i can use command one to show and hide the sidebar as well all right so the view you are seeing there this view that's from here source app.js you can see we have this um, app component it has the header it has the uh, image logo that you see and then we have this text edit 
of the app.js and save to reload so that's what we have here okay so this is how we have the create react app setup and this app.js that's the only component we have at the moment and this has been imported in the index.js all right so this is where react dom is rendering our app the app component right and it is rendering in the div the HTML div with the ID of root using this document dot get element by ID method so this root div you can find here in the public folder index.html so we have a bit of a HTML here and in the body section so all this is the head section and here in the body we have nothing except this div empty div with the ID of root so the entire application the react application is rendered in this div with the id of root okay so back here in the index.js so our entire application is this app component and it is being rendered here but as you can imagine we will have so many different pages so many different components so all of that we will um, need to show in this div right so how we're going to do that is at the moment this app component it's um, very simple we just have this image and the paragraph and this text but instead of this we will turn this app component to a um, routes um, file so we will be creating many components we will bring all of them here we're going to import them here and we will use a react router dom to implement routing system so we have one route for login a login page one route for register page one for home page and so on okay so each component will render its pages okay so all of them will be here and then uh, using the react router dom we will be able to implement routing so we will have multiple pages application all right so to give this a try let me just get rid of all this header let me get rid of this um, as well and let me just simply write um, react app okay so and we're not using a logo let's get rid of that we're not using css as well so let's keep it simple all right so go back here and you can see the change has been applied all right so let me change this to um arrow function as well so this is the old school function this is a regular function you can also change this to arrow function const app equals to parenthesis arrow and we can return this way okay you can see it's still the same and because this is just one element one div element you can also get rid of the curly brace so if it is just one element you don't need curly brace you don't need a return keyword the arrow function uh, comes with its own return keyword as long as there is just one element you want to return okay so in that case get rid of everything and just paste the div right so make sure to wrap with uh, the parentheses i guess so this way also it works now you must have noticed i have the um, prettier install in the vs code so when i save when i save when i hit save it just auto formats the code so if you don't have make sure to install prettier plugin okay so in the next lecture let's go go ahead and install react router dom so that we have the routing system in place